Hello everyone, welcome back to Language Express with Jelly Bean. In today's video, we are going to talk about self-introduction. Ito na yung sagot sa parating tinatanong sa atin, tell me something about yourself. For some, napakadali at napaka-basic lang ng topic na ito, but giving the proper self-introduction is incredibly important. Madalas natin ipakilala ang ating mga sarili in our English class, job interview, new job, or even in a large events or gatherings. I always feel nervous every time I introduce myself because English is not my first language. Natatakot ako magkamali at baka mapagtawanan at majudge ng ibang tao. In order for us to have a successful self-introduction, we have to prepare a written and learned self-introduction. In this video, I am going to guide you through the whole process and at the end of this lesson, you will have a complete self-introduction ready for use and that you could learn off by heart. Magsimula tayo sa pinaka-basic ng pagsiself-introduce. The very first thing that you have to say is a greeting. Mayroong dalawang klase ng greetings. We have formal and informal. Sa formal, pwede natin sabihin hello. Hello can be formal and informal. Pwede mo ding sabihin good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Make sure that you pay attention to what particular time of the day it is. In the old British English, you would hear a lot of people say good day as their greeting. That's a very old-fashioned way. Giving a self-introduction at night, we don't say good night because good night means bye-bye or you're sending someone off. If you're giving a speech in the evening, say Good evening. Sa di formal na pamamaraan naman ng pag-greet, marami din tayong common at iba't ibang ways. Ilan sa mga ito ay ang Hey, what's up? Hey yo, hey girlfriend, kia, hey dude. So, kapag ka nasa di formal ka na sitwasyon at hindi naman formal na gathering, you could use these ways. Next, ang susunod na sasabihin natin ay yung ating pangalan. There are many ways of introducing your name. The most common one is I am Jelly or I'm Jelly. Now, if you're in a situation where no one or the person that you're talking to cannot see you, pag hindi ka nakikita ng kausap mo, you could say, my name is Jelly or my name's Jelly. Kapag ka nasa malaking auditorium ka naman or malaking event, you might want to say, this is Jelly. Or sa telephone, we would say, this is Jelly speaking. Next, your location. This will cover where you're from and where you are living. Marami iba't ibang paraan ng pagsasabi saan ka nanggaling at kung saan ka nakatira ngayon. Simulan natin sa pinaka-basic na pamamaraan ng pagsasabi ng ating lokasyon and later on, we're gonna move on to a slightly more complicated way of describing your geographical location. Firstly, we have I'm from and your location. I'm from General Santa City. Pwede rin, I'm and your nationality. Kung malayo naman ang pinanggalingan mo from where you are speaking at the moment, you could say, I come from, and sabihin mo yung lugar kung saan ka galing. Yung phrase na come from, it could signify a journey na nag-travel ka from there to where you are right now. Kung gusto mo namang sabihin kung saan ka pinanganap, you could say, I was born and raised in tapos lugar. I was born and raised in Philippines. Kung pinanganak ka naman sa isang lugar, tapos lumaki ka sa ibang lugar, you could say, I was born in Leyte, but raised in General Santa City. Kung pinanganak ka naman sa ibang lugar, pero you're now living in another place, napakaraming options kung paano mo yun sasabihin. Isa rito ay ang pagsasabi ng, I grew up in General Santa City, but I'm now living in Manila. Or, pwede mo ding sabihin, I'm originally from Ormoc City, but I'm now based in Manila. Kung gusto mong sabihin kung gaano ka nakatagal sa lugar na uh, tinitirhan mo ngayon, you could say, I have been living in Manila for three years now. Or pwede mo ding sabihin, I spent the past few years in Manila. Yun yung mga basics na pwede mong sabihin. Now, let's talk about other things that you can add on to your self-introduction. Isa sa mga napaka-importante yung pwede mong idagdag sa self-introduction mo ay ang kumpanya kung saan ka nagtatrabaho at ang position mo. You could say, I work at, tapos yung company name, in the blank department. For example, I could say, I work at 5-1 Talk in the accounting department. Remember na we have to say I work at or I work for, hindi I work in. 
It's wrong. I work at or I work for lang. It's at or for then yung company name. You could also say I'm a manager at McDonald's. I'm a position at company. Kung gusto mo namang ibigay yung general area kung saan ka nagtatrabaho, you could say I work in tapos yung general area na yun. For example, I work in marketing. I work in sales. Kung gusto mo namang i-mention yung specific mo na position, you could say I work as a home-based teacher. I work as a CEO. I work as a deputy manager. You might want to add your qualifications as well, lalo na pag nag apply ka ng trabaho. So, if you're just about to graduate from college, you could say, I'm about to graduate. If you want to say your specialization mo or your major, mo, you could also say, I'm a marketing graduate. Or you could say, I have a bachelor degree of arts in marketing. Or I have a BA degree in marketing. If you want to talk about other courses that you took or other achievements, you can say, I am currently taking a course in blank. You can put it here as subject. For example, I am currently taking a course in math. Take note yung preposition na in versus on. Itong in, we are using in sa area na theoretical, while on kapag ka practical areas. For example, I'm taking a course in math while I'm taking a course on jewelry making. In kapag ka theoretical, on kapag ka practical. Pwede mo ding tanggalin ang preposition. I'm taking a pottery course. I'm taking a math course. Pag tapos mo na yung training or yung course na yun, you could say, I have completed uh, ilang oras in or on subject. For example, I have completed a 72 hours pottery course. Pwede ding number plus unit of time and course. And that will form or that together is an adjective. For example, I have completed a 30 day cooking course. I have completed a 72-hour pottery course. The next thing that you could add on to your self-introduction is your experience. You could say, I have blank number of years of experience in the blank field or occupation field. So, halimbawa, you could say, I have a five-year experience in the nursing field. Pwede din naman na hindi mo na sabihin yung field. You could say, I have a 10-year experience in sales. Or pwede rin, I have worked in blank field for a certain unit of time. For example, I have worked in the medical field for five years. Kapag ka nasa informal situation ka, like for example, you are introducing yourself to your friends and you wanted to get to know them and you know you want them to get to know you, you could share about your family, how many siblings, brothers, sisters you have. There are so many of us na nagkakamali when it comes to telling how many people are there in our family. In most cases, we would say we are five in the family. It is wrong. The correct way of saying it is I'm from a family of five. I'm from a family of blank. Yung number kung ilan kayo. Or we are a family of four. Kung gusto mo namang sabihin kung ilan kayong magkakapatid, you could say, I am one of the blank number siblings. I am one of the three siblings. The word siblings is the general term for your brothers and sisters. It does not really specify how many brothers or how many sisters you have. At kung nag-iisa ka lang, you could say, I am an only child. Next, you might want to talk about your hobbies. Usually, we would say, I really like badminton, I really like swimming. Now, I would suggest that a good way for you to introduce your hobby is you could say, I'm a big fan of blank. Insert your hobby. So, you could say, I am a big fan of basketball, I'm a big fan of swimming. You could also say, I'm a keen plus young noun. For example, I'm a keen swimmer. I'm a keen basketball player. Next, we have age. Sa huli ko to nilagay kasi nowadays it's not really necessary to tell your age, but it's important that we know how to say our age, of course. The most basic one is saying I'm 27 years old, or we can shorten it down by saying I'm 27. Kung ayaw mong specify kung ilang taon ka na, you could say I'm in early, mid, or late plus decade. For example, I'm I'm in late 20s, I'm in early 20s, I'm in mid 20s. The last one that you could add on for your self-introduction 
is giving a fun fact about yourself. It is quite boring to introduce ourselves, right? You'd be standing up in the air, stating your name and all about you. Kaya, by giving the fun fact, people will become interested to listen to you. Have a fun fact prepared. You could say an interesting fear, a weird like or dislike. It could be facts about your pet, a strange achievement or extraordinary experience, or a special skill that is very rare. I've got a bonus homework for you. Share a fun fact about yourself in the comment section below. But this is optional. I know how intimidating this can be. Okay, yeah, it's up to you. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you again for another lesson. Until then, take care.